This is Richard with BWE Firearms, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorites, the STG-44, MP-44, Sturmgewehr, whatever the hell you want to call it. We're going to talk about it. This is my post sample that I built out of a saw cut parts kit. And it was developed by the Nazis in World War II. The generals lied to Hitler about developing it because he didn't want a semi-automatic rifle. So they just lied to him and said, oh, it's a subgun. So the, a lot of guns take things from this gun. I don't know if some of the stuff was taken directly from this gun or if some of this stuff was taken from other guns. Uh, one thing that is always debated is did Kalishnikov steal the long stroke gas piston off this to develop the AK? Would make sense. You know, he was on the Eastern Front, Western Front, whatever the, he was fighting on Russia's side against the Nazis. And they were using these. So he saw them. But the World War I 1918 BAR also used a long stroke gas system. So he might have seen it then. He might have seen it on other guns. Who the hell knows? He's dead, so we can't ask him. Um, the top cover or the ejection port cover you know, it flips the other way, but it's definitely AR style. The recoil spring runs down the buttstock. Again, AR style. The sheet metal stamped receiver, HK. The lower and upper tubes, HK. The cocking handle on the left. Instead of the right, HK. The stock setup, HK. Which makes sense because a bunch of the Nazi designers went to Spain afterwards and helped them design the uh, set me, which turned into the HK. All right, it is in 762 by. Uh, 32, 7.92 curves. Uh, somewhere I got a bag of ammo here. Is that ammo? That's ammo. 8 by 33. That's what it is. It's a 24 grain bullet. And basically they took the 8 millimeter Mauser cartridge, shrunk it uh, in length, Diameter is the same, Heads, uh, the bolt face is the same as the 8mm, same as the 30 6 And they just shrunk it down and put a lighter bullet in it. I think it's a cute little cartridge. Alright, disassembly. Like the HK, has a push pin in the stock. You take that pin out. You got to be careful because it springs out at you. It is not a captive pin or a captive spring. So it goes we. Trigger guard, like an HK, except this is permanently pinned. It's not the double pins like the HK where you can take this off. That's, you got to go to the armory, send it back to the armory to have this pin knocked out and then the new pin re swedged into it. Slide the bolt carrier back. Grab the bolt so you don't drop it. And there's your bolt. It is a dropping bolt when it locks. Let's get that in front of my head so you can kind of see it. There. See it hits that ledge and drops down when it locks. 
this is the locking shoulder here. And then it goes up to release. Again, long stroke gas piston, similar to the AK, 1919, a whole bunch of other guns. The fore end is just sheet metal, and it just pops off. This gas tube, like the AK, does not remove. The AKs do. This does not. You need to knock these pins out of the gas block, move the gas block forward to take this out. Um, it's got 30 round magazines. The you really only load them to 25 or 20. When you get over 20 rounds, the rounds start nose diving, and then you wind up with jams. So if you only load it with 20, you're you're good. Uh, you do have to put your thumb on the back of the magazine and tip it forward when it's in the gun. Just the nature of the beast with the gun. You know these were these were not heavily developed. These were rushed, and that's what you get. Threaded barrel with a muzzle protector right there. And I forget what that thread is. It's some metric thread. Um, what else? That's, you know, that's kind of it. Uh, there's no fluted chamber like an HK. They didn't need to. They developed it right. Uh, to put it back together, put the bolt back in the carrier, put your thumb on it so it doesn't fall apart on you. Just slip that in there. You gotta kind of wiggle it a little bit to, to get it in. There we go, and it's locked. And you take your spring, slide it down there, and try to hold everything. Let me get it where you can see it. And compress that spring, and you can tell it's a load of fun. Okay, flip your trigger pack up. Stick your pin in. Stick the handguard back on. Handguard's back on. It's ready to go. Okay. The controls. This is the safety. Safe. Fire. This button is a push button. That is your semi-auto there. Full auto there. You see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it pop through. Let's see if I can get it. Where the hell's the damn camera? Where the hell's the damn button? There it is. See, you can see it pop through there. That's like uh, a lot of the sub guns had the same thing. Rate of fire is 450 to 550. Um, you know, of course I'm using, you know, this ammo is not hot. They don't load this super hot. It is a closed bolt gun like most of the rifles. It does not fire from an open bolt. It is an extremely comfortable gun to shoot because of the rate of fire and the weight and the cartridge. You get almost no muscle rise at all. You can keep it on target and just boom, 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 and just plow the rounds into the target. Um, if you get a chance to shoot one, shoot one. They are an absolute blast to shoot. Uh, this is Richard with BWE Firearms, and we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video on my 1100 short barrel shotgun that I do the conversions on. It ain't your daddy's 1100. Y'all have a nice day. We'll talk to you later.
say something in German, mein Schatzi.